family today is yet another beautiful evening where we are going to be celebrating where we are going to be worshiping and praising our god in fuselelo the promised revival is still doing the rounds if you have not downloaded it let me promise you you are missing out on a mighty move of god you're missing out on the great revival check out your google play check out your itunes check spotify Download Infuselelo and get into the groove of things. You don't want to miss that vibe, especially in a season like this. Family, this evening is another session of power-packed worship, spirit-filled worship, and high-energy praise. And we invite you once again to join the TGC ministers as they do their thing. This month is the month of women and we are celebrating the power that women are. We are celebrating the dynamites of this era. We are celebrating what happened many years ago when 20,000 women marched to the union buildings to stamp our rights, our human rights to say it is enough with the discrimination against the people of the land. But today we are celebrating these women and we are saying to us as women in this time that let us also rise. What they did in those years, it made us to be who we are today. But we also have battles to fight. We also have challenges that we are facing and we also have to rise in our own generation and in our own time. This evening, I just want to start with this verse. In the book of Genesis 1, 27, God says, Let us make man in our image. In his image, he made them. And I just want us to underline the word them. Male and female, he made them. So to the women of today, I want to say, you were in God's mind right from the beginning. In the spiritual, you were formed right in the beginning. You were an afterthought. In Genesis 1.28, God says, let them have dominion over the fish in the sea, over the birds in the air. He says, let them have dominion. So I want to say to the women today, the mandate of dominion applies to you. The mandate of power applies to you as well. The mandate to occupy is mandated to you as well. The mandate to rise and shine and take your place in this universe, you've got that mandate as well. So as we celebrate Women's Month, as we celebrate this month of August, we just want to say, from the word of God, we have been given dominion. So rise, Zimbogoto, rise, as we celebrate you this month. We're going to take it over to the TGC ministers as they serenade us with the harmonious sounds of Twani Gospel Choir. The song that we're going to do right now is a Shona song that simply says, raise up your hand and praise God for only Him is holy. Oh, 
Family, I'm hoping you've been enjoying the sounds of Tswani, enjoying the harmonies and really finding spiritual upliftment in the sounds and beautiful melodies of our TGC ministers. I just want to continue with this book of Genesis and I'm taking it from Genesis 3 verse 9 where God is walking in the garden after Adam and Eve have eaten the forbidden fruit and he walks about in the garden looking for them and because they know that they've done wrong they are hiding from him and he says to Adam, Adam where are you? And this is something that happens because we know we have been out of alignment with the will of God. And I want to take it and bring it back to what is happening currently in our country, in our world. We are facing a time where as women, as much as we are calling this the month of women, the month of celebrating women, but sadly, we are talking about a month where we know that most of our sisters are now buried. We are talking about sisters that are being abused. We are talking about gender-based violence. We are talking about all sorts of things that are done against women. So for many, it is not really a period to celebrate, but it is because we have gone out of alignment with the will of God. We have gone out of alignment with the word of God. That's why we find ourselves in a situation where men are abusing women Women, and women are crying out if there's anything wrong that we have done. And I want to take it back to the society that as much as this is a month of women celebrating women, but let us go back. Let us go back to the original intent of how men were supposed to relate to each other, how men were supposed to relate to women, because what we are having now is not the way that it was intended to be. I'm taking it back to this song that says, What have the women done that is so ugly in the face of men to be inheriting the kind of violence that they are experiencing now? I just want to say to you, let us go back to the word. Let us go back to what God proposed us to be in the garden where the man was supposed to be the head, where the man was supposed to be the one tilting the ground, where the woman was supposed to be a helper. Even when a woman was coming in as a helper in a relationship where she was supposed to submit to the husband or the man, let us understand that it was not necessarily a role that was meant to be abused or misused by the system. But because we don't understand the original intent that God had when he created men and women and when he made a woman a helper to the men, when you don't understand what the role of the helper is, then you will think that the helper is a doormat, a punching bag, and somebody that's supposed to be abused. But I'm saying that's not what God intended it to be. As we talk about the revival, as we talk about in Fuselelo, as if Fuselele, the original purpose of this union, as if Fuselele, the original relationship of men to women as it was intended in the beginning. And I just want to encourage you that if you take God at his word, if you take God at the things that he said to us, you will realize that if we were to align with his will and his purpose, then there would be harmonious relationships between men and women. As we celebrate this month of August, let us go back there and go back to where things were supposed to be, in the Garden of Eden, living harmoniously as men and women.
ความบุคคลนาอุตเลิกกาเวสบุเนเนยบสิกังกูสิกังกูลุงกูลุโอบาเวนาอุยนาบายามิอุยสิทธบุษมิปินอุลิจวาลาลามิเยบงกาชาบูเวเยบงปิกาบูเวฮาเลลูยาฮาเลลูยาอาเกคมูเยเวนาเวทัวกิตาสบูเอกิพปากูเอเวนาเวทัวเวนาเวทัวเวนาเวทัวเวนาเวทัวกัวกัวเวนาเวลุยสิเปเปลอสนา
Oh, 
Mutlum.